Thanks, Kendall. Our spe special thoughts and prayers go out to those families involved, and a special thanks to those who fight to keep our community safe. Good afternoon, lovebirds. I'm Chaney Roberts. And I'm Aiden Murphy. And welcome back to another edition of Sports. Sports. Eighth grade boys and girls had their last regular season game tonight, or today, against the Curtis Cougars. The boys will be home and the girls will be away. B team is at 5.30, A team is at 6.30, and C team is at 7.30. Make sure to come support our last middle school basketball game. Track will start on Monday. All grades will go to, the tra go to track in the morning, but 8th grade boys and 7th grade girls will go before first period and go back to during 8th period for their field events. Boys and girls A team have tournaments this weekend. 8th grade boys are at Curtis, and 8th grade girls will be at McMillan. 7th grade boys will be at Erickson, and 7th grade girls will be at Roy City. Come out and support the last tournaments of the year's basketball season. High school wrestling has a district tournament at Turner High School today at 9 o'clock a.m. This will decide if they, go to state if they go to state championship on February 16th and 23rd. High school basketball is still going on as well. That's all we have for local sports. Now to national sports. Thanks. I'm the Macavini. And I'm the Alex Beal. And welcome back to another edition of Sports. Big news. The event you have all been waiting for. The 2018 Winter Olympics. It starts on February 7th, but the opening ceremony is this Friday. February 5th, the Olympics will be held at Pyeongchang, South Korea. The Olympics have been a tradition with two types of them, the summer and the winter. The Olympics are on every two years and are a way to show unity and peace to the world. The Olympics conclude of the countries from all over the world, participating in multiple events like figure skating, snowboarding, hockey, and many more of these are the sporting events of the year. Don't miss it. The second division Houston Rockets played the seventh in the conference Miami Heat last night. The score was 109 to 101. Rockets won after a very exciting game. The last in conference Mavs play the first in conference World Warriors tonight at 9.30 against the or in the Oracle Stadium in California. Also yesterday was National Signing Day. The top recruits from all over the country pick which college they will play their sport with. Here's the top shot. The Super Bowl was a very close game this year, with the Eagles ending the Patriots' reign of terror 41 to 33. Although most people don't know, there are several Super Bowl stars that grew up right here in our area, and you'd be surprised who they are. Rex Burkhead, the starting running back for the New England Patriots, was extremely successful on the football field and the basketball court. For Plano High School. As a junior, he rushed for 1,762 yards and scored 28 touchdowns, leading the school to a state semifinal appearance in the playoffs. Since then, Burkhead has been wildly successful throughout his college and professional career, with nearly 4,000 rushing yards. Also for the Patriots is Marcus Cannon, a three-time all-conference offensive tackle from Odessa High School. From the Eagles, there's running back Jay Ajayi from Liberty High School, cornerback Jalen Mills from DeSoto High, and offensive tackle Halapawivati Vaitai from Halton High School. I'm Riley McGowan for WSMS TV News.